everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this week's video, we will compare very popular software products for project management. This includes Trello, Asana and Zoho projects. Before we begin this video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button not to miss any useful information that we share here. And we'll start off by a little overview of all of the three apps and also I will talk about their advantages and disadvantages. Starting off from Zoho Projects, Zoho Projects is a comprehensive project management platform designed to meet the needs of businesses of all sizes. It offers a wide range of features including test tracking, time tracking, document sharing, budgeting and advanced reporting. It is an optimal choice for organizations that require advanced project management capabilities and robust reporting to make data-driven decisions. Now let's talk about Zoho Project's pros and cons. The advantages include the comprehensive features. Zoho Project offers an extensive set of features making it suitable for complex project management needs. It includes task tracking, time tracking, document sharing, budgeting, and much more in one platform. Also, advanced reporting. Zoho Project excels in reporting and analytics, providing deep insights into project performance. This is especially valuable for data-driven decision-making and optimizing processes. And integration with Zoho Suite. For businesses already using Zoho applications, Zoho Project seamlessly integrates with them, creating a unified ecosystem for efficient operations. And it also integrates with a huge variety of third-party developer apps. The disadvantages include a learning curve due to its extensive feature set, there may be a learning curve for new users. Training might be necessary for full utilization. And the cost. While a Zoho project offers free plans, some advanced features and integration capabilities may come at cost, making it potentially expensive for smaller businesses. Also, Zoho Projects recently got a massive upgrade, and I want to talk about some of the main features that were added. First of all is simplified project management. Zoho's latest update streamlines productivity and users can now create entire projects using their keyboards, navigating list views and update project details without diving into separate pages. Also a convenient Gantt chart access. Gantt charts directly within the sheet view eliminating the need for additional navigation. You can customize your project timeline for short term or long term projects. The next one is tailored customization. Zoho prioritizes flexibility, allowing users to create custom fields from the sheet view. They offer industry-specific project templates to expedite planning. Also, streamlined automation. Automation is integrated into sheet view, simplifying workflow rule creation for project tasks and issues. And also improved UI enhanced. Kanban boards offer inline editing, while the context menu provides quick access to relevant actions. And now you can also experience a unified interface across all of the platforms, including mobile access to the sheet view. Moving on to Trello, which is a user-friendly and visually appealing project management tool known for its simplicity. It uses Kanban-style approach with boards, lists, and cards to represent tasks and projects. Trello is great for smaller teams and less complex projects, as it offers a straightforward way to visualize workflows, prioritize tasks, and collaborate effectively. It's highly customizable through third-party integration, making it versatile for various work environments. However, it may not be the best choice for larger organizations or projects with extensive requirements. The main advantages of Trello include simplicity and visual appeal. It is easy to get started and visually track tasks on boards, making it a great for smaller teams. Also Kanban methodology, Trello follows the Kanban methodology, which is an excellent for visualizing workflow and prioritizing tasks, particularly in agile environments. And third-party integrations, Trello offers a wide range of third-party integrations, allowing users to customize their workflows and add functionality as needed. The disadvantages include limited advanced features, Trello's simplicity can be a limitation for businesses with complex project management needs as it lacks advanced features found in other tools. And scalability, it may not be the best choice for larger organizations or projects with extensive requirements. And the last app is Asana. Asana is task management focused platform that excels in creating, assigning and tracking tasks along with setting due dates. It also provides a collaborative workspace where team members can communicate within tasks and projects. 
Asana offers goal and portfolio management features, making it suitable for businesses with strategic focus on achieving objectives. While it lacks some of advanced reporting capabilities found in Zoho projects, it is a solid choice for teams that need to stay organized, meet deadlines, and closely collaborate. Asana offers both free and paid plans catering to different business needs. Some of the main advantages of Asana is tasks management focus. Asana excels in tasks management. It's easy to create, assign, and track tasks and set due dates. Collaboration tools. Asana provides a collaborative workspace where teams can communicate within tasks and projects, making it suitable for teams that require close collaboration. Goal and portfolio management. Asana's goal and portfolio management features are available for businesses with strategic focus on achieving objectives. The disadvantages of Asana include lack of advanced reporting, Asana's reporting and analytics capabilities are more basic compared to Zoho projects, and also limited integration options. While it offers some third-party integrations, it may not cover the full spectrum of integration needs for all businesses. So you can see that all of the apps offer a comprehensive set of useful features, but let's look closely to the features and make a feature comparison of Zoho projects, Trello and Asana so you can make a more informed decision while choosing a project management software for your business. So all of the three apps offer excellent tasks tracking. For time tracking, Trello has limited capabilities. Moving on to document sharing and here all of the three apps are equal. In reporting and analytics, Zoho offers the most comprehensive set of features and offers extensive analytics. Trello and Asana offer basic analytics. All of the three apps use Kanban methodology. And if we're talking about the integration options, Zoho offers extensive integrations with Zoho Suite and third-party developer apps. Trello also offers extensive integrations with third-party developer apps. And Asana has a bit less integration capabilities. Both Zoho and Asana offer goal and portfolio management and Trello lacks this feature. And also if we're talking about the collaboration tools, Trello also has the most basic set of collaboration tools comparing to Zoho and Asana. As you can see from the feature comparison, Zoho project offers the most comprehensive set of features and also the Asana is also a more pro version of project management software and Trello is more simplified. But to make final conclusions, let's make a pricing comparison of all of the three apps and see which one has the best value for money. Starting off from Zoho Projects, it offers a completely free pricing plan for up to three users for two projects. The next pricing plan is five euros per user per month for unlimited amount of projects and 20 project templates. An enterprise pricing plan is 10 euros per user per month. It includes unlimited projects, 30 project templates and 10 read-only users. Trello offers four pricing plans. First one is free for individuals and teams looking to organize any project. The next one is $5 per user per month for small teams that need to manage work and scale collaboration. Premium pricing plan is $10 per user per month for teams that need to track and visualize multiple projects in several ways, including boards, timelines, calendars, and etc and an enterprise plan for organizations that need to connect work across teams with more security and controls. It has a customizable pricing depending on the amount of users. And for example, for 50 users, it's $17.5 per user per month. If we're talking about Asana, it also offers a free pricing plan for individuals and small teams looking to manage their tasks, and it is suitable for up to 10 users. Starter pricing plan is $11 per user per month for growing teams that need to track their project's progress and hit deadlines. And the last one is advanced, which is $25 per user per month for companies that need to manage a portfolio of work and goals across departments. And there's also businesses and inter enterprises pricing plan, but you need to contact Asana for them to calculate the specific pricing plan for you if you have more requirements or more people in the team. So as you can see from all of the comparisons, in my opinion, Zoho project is a perfect option for the businesses because it has all of the features that all of the businesses need and also it has great integration capabilities not only within Zoho ecosystem of apps but also with third-party developer apps. If you want to try Zoho projects for your business, I will leave the link for a free trial down below in the description box and also down below in the description box you can find a link to a free consultation 
with one of our experts where you can ask any questions about implementation, integration, customization, and technical support of the Zoho software. So I will leave the link again down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful for you and will help you to make the right decision and choose the right software for your business. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button not to miss any useful information that we share here.